Dubuque. Into Dubuque. And look at this. T just showed me. She had her sacks in her hands. I saw that. Oh, those are my <laughs> sacks. Those are my gloves because oh. I gotta wear them. She's wearing a necklace today. T never wears necklaces. Hardly. Yeah, I... Oh, once in a while, but never Once in a while. Anyway, we're headed into Dubuque because little kids are going to grandma's and we're getting ready to trade in our van. It's time to drop it off and they're gonna pick it up from Dubuque on Monday. So exciting, it's been cleaned out, it's ready to go and I hear kids, they are anxious and ready to get out of here. All right, what's wrong? I am, I am ducky. I am you hungry. You are what, hungry? I am ducky. You're hungry? I am ducky. You're dirty, you need a drink? Yeah. Oh my goodness, and you're hungry? Okay. Okay. We've got hungry and thirsty kids, guys, so it's time to take care of that. Then head to Dubuque and head. He brought dinner and lunch for the kids. Dinner and lunch, and he brought food in the car so that we didn't have to stop anywhere and get anything to eat, which was smart thinking on Daddy's part. And the last ride in the van. Yes, how are you feeling about your last ride in the van? Yeah, I'm excited. I, I love the new van. I'm excited. I'm not too keen on driving home in the fishing truck, but eh, it is what it is. Yeah, but I bought the new van it's knowing it was missing one center cap on the wheel. Yeah, the hub cap, and it's driving them nuts. And so I was already online trying to find it. Yeah, I won't be buying it online. I'll try to try the salvage yards. Yeah, it's $120 online, so. One center cap. That's but hey, got brand new tires on it. Does. So one of those embarrassing internet moments, and I realized, well, I didn't even have a clue. I always thought Rose Nyland from the Golden, Golden Girls was from St. Olaf, Iowa. And I recently found out, thanks to a viewer's comment, show you there, Marie Gilbert commented and she said, Rose Nyland from the Golden Girls is not from St. Olaf, Iowa. She's from Minnesota. The town of St. Olaf, Minnesota is actually a fictional town. While there is a St. Olaf count, uh, College, this is not the town of St. Olaf, but the town of Northfield, Minnesota. So thank you to Marie for letting us know that. I had no clue. I always thought she was from St. Olaf, Iowa, and there actually isn't a St. Olaf, Minnesota, just a township. So we had to look it up and find out what the history was behind it because we always thought it was St. Olaf. Olaf, Iowa. So there really is a St. Olaf, but it's not in Minnesota. It's in Iowa, you Which guys. So I apologize for telling you it was Rosen Island's hometown because I didn't know it. Right. Last prep before we turn in the van. Matt's vacuuming. Last time in her, guys. We're done. She's here at Uber Socks. Say bye bye, Poot, to the van. Bye, truck. Bye bye, truck, he says. Bye bye, truck. I know. I have a hammer. Have you? No, don't do that. <laughs> Look at my hand, it's cold. What? I am too pretty. You are too, you are too pretty. What? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so that's what he's been doing every time a car goes by. His dad let him have the window down, and every time one goes by, he goes, Woo! <laughs>
There's some sort of fail going on in my house right now. Matt is talking to bars. They haven't talked in like two weeks. What? Is, what? <laughs> Look at this, you guys. Matt looks like a panda bear. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, Matt! Ah! Oh. Wait, we gotta go back to this one, Bob. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm having so much fun. Oh, man, what in the... Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you a rabbit? Why are you a rabbit, Bar? Oh! That was too funny, yeah. but I gotta share something with you. Our dog stinks. He stinks. So he got out the front or out the kitchen door. Aspen let him out the other morning. He saw his dad outside and opened up the door. And of course, as soon as Duke saw the door open, took off out of it. So he came back because he does. We showed you guys in the vlog that our dog ran away the one day. Totally loyal. Comes back every time after he's taken his joy run. Right. And this time he got sprayed by a skunk. Yeah, he got sprayed by a skunk, uh, and he smells so bad right now. He walked up by me, and I'm like, can we give him your ear those two in the background? We do have them! Where is he going? Let me try. Normally my project day, but for the last couple of weekends, I've just been off my game. You guys, I'm spinning to get some light in here. Anyway, I've been off my game the last couple of weekends, and that's not something. Hi. You, you want to play that? Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's charged. It won't be. It's gonna be. It's on. It is on. It's on. I'm gonna play it every day. It's like this every day. Mama. What? How do I go on Lego and do, do this? How do you go on Lego? How do you do You gotta that? look for Batman. You help me. I will help so, you. Now that I got him taken care of, Braxton's helping him out a little bit. I'm gonna come in and on weeks and days, like not weeks, but on days when my schedule can't always be the way that I want it to be. I at least want to do a quick pickup or a quick cleanup. I don't know what's going on with him. I can hear him crying out here. I think he's getting frustrated. What's going on? Do you need help? You, oh, are you stuck in your jammies? Yeah. Okay, he is you. finally averted. We've got the jammies off. But anyway, on weeks and days, <laughs> you guys, I'm never going to get a word out. <laughs> I'm making Kool-Aid. You are making, what are you making? What kind? Ooh, Blue, mixed you um, only need one for that pitcher. One oh, and yeah. one cup of sugar. I forgot. Okay, Four let's try. I don't know. I've been trying to get this out. Anyway, <laughs> these kids are so crazy sometimes. But on the days that I can't stick to my normal schedule, because like today we had to take the van in, had to drive all the way to Platteville. That's a long trip. And then back. I didn't even tell you what happened at Taco Bell. I'm not even going to go there. Just... It took us forever to get our food. It was like 30 minutes. We were five minutes late getting Skylar out of work tonight. So anyway, on days like this, when I cannot get what I need to get done, I'm just going to do a quick clean. Put the chore cards away. Not worry about that. Just a quick tidy on the house because when we couldn't do anything yesterday, it was very quick for the house to have a state of disarray especially with as many people as we have in our house. So I want that to stop and not get out of control. So I'm gonna take you along with me for a few minutes and we're gonna do a quick speed clean on this house, literally.
which I use a Norwick mop, you guys. So um, it's it's got like a reusable pad. So you can mop a floor with it and then rinse it out, do another floor. And then you just throw it in the wash when you're done. It's awesome. I don't use it all the time and you only use water with it. It has silver in it to clean, I guess, something like that. My mom explained it to me a while ago when she gave it to me. But I use that in between when I don't get a chance to mop, mop the floors like with a cleanser and stuff like that, this works great. It gets sticky spots off, it cleans the floor, it lifts the dirt, and it's a good, quick way to get the floors done. So, my tip, I think it's called Norwex. If you can get yourself a Norwex mop, they're awesome. They're awesome for the in between or when you're just in a hurry and wanna get the floors back in shape. But here we go, kitchen's done. New bedding for the dog, cause he stinks. Dining room. Living room's done. Foyer, which you can't see because it's dark. Toy room's back in shape. And school room. The house is ready to start the week and it really didn't take me that long to get it done. And what you saw me cleaning up, that literally is a day of letting the house go. Not doing anything yesterday on the house. And it can get so messy so quickly in a family of our size. I think in any house it can get really messy. But yeah, that was one day. Had I let that go any longer, it would have been a disaster in the house. Tomorrow we're back to our regular schedule and our chore schedule, except I believe we have to do a run again tomorrow morning. So it's a busy week and we have so many events coming up. Next weekend, I have a bridal shower. I believe it's next weekend to go to. We have a wedding coming up in May. Graduations are coming up. My nephew Jack's graduating. Charlie's graduating. Caitlin is graduating. Cousin Caitlin is graduating from college. So yeah, it's just, there's a ton of events going on. 
So it's going to be crazy and we need to stay on this schedule and keep this house going in between all the busyness of life. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.